Right, welcome to another video, and today I'm going to be showing off my basketball card collection. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, I actually did speak about it in my last video, and I thought I have made a video on this previously on a different YouTube channel, so if you've seen it before, I do apologise. But these are cards which I got from the 90s, there's just a fat stack of them. Uh, got loads of them from a charity shop for about £5 for the whole thing. Some American football cards, mainly basketball. There's even a football card in there as well, a hockey, hockey cards as well. But... It's a really good video, and if you like basketball, this video is good for you. And I saw the response on my basketball clothing video, so I thought, why not make this one as well? It is quite a long one, but if you haven't, well, if you do enjoy the video, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Right, so to start off with, I'm just going to go through my hockey cards. I know absolutely nothing about hockey, so I've got no idea if these are any good. Just before I start, I don't, I don't know hockey like at all. But I did get these, literally it was just a massive selection of just cards which my granddad bought me from a charity shop, which was really good. As you can tell, I'm just voicing this over after I've done this, because there's a lot of cards. So I'm just going to be speaking through some of them. That was a random bit of paper off a sticker. There's basketball stickers like that one as well. I stuck on my computer, to be fair. And first of all, I just go through all the generic cards, mainly the people I don't know, because I wasn't born in the 90s, or... Uh, when a lot of these cards came out and a lot of people on this aren't extremely famous some people might know them uh, if you were watching basketball in the like 90s look at that card someone has just absolutely ruined it there are a few cards like that one which i was very sad about which you'll see coming up in this video it was really tragic but as you can see it's 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 a lot of nice cards and it, it's nice having a history like not really what I mean, you know what I mean, it's just like history of NBA basketball where you've got all of these random players who were all in the league and you've got these cards which are three players on each one and you could split them as well, I think some of them actually were split as well and there are some really good players on that as well which are coming up, but a lot of these players I didn't know, so what I did was I sorted every like player into do I know them or or do I not know them? And at the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you the most famous players which I know, which are in this video. There's a lot of the same cards in there, but it's what it is. From my opinion as well, a lot of a lot of it is like they've sold... The person that's given this to a charity shop has sold all the best individual cards and kind of left like me with the generic ones, which I don't mind whatsoever. There are some really sick cards in this coming up. But as you can see, there's not many famous players in this. As I said, I'd assume because they sold a lot of them, i.e. like the Lakers ones, uh, the Rockets, the like Bulls as well, because there's no Michael Jordan or anything in this, sadly, to spoil the video. There are some close players to Michael who are in this, and basically I kept them in piles to look after them and make sure they're sectioned okay, which was a really big point for me because I don't want them to get ruined. Here's some NFL cards. Well one F NFL card and then some more basketball cards. There are, there are actually some more NFL cards if you are interested in them. I, again, know absolutely nothing about the NFL except for my team of the Patriots, which used to be good, now not so much. Uh, as you know, if you've seen the channel before, I'm a massive fan of the Celtics and stuff like that. But this channel is mainly about secondhand stuff, and I, this is mainly to show people what you can actually get if you're looking in the right places. Like My granddad found this for me at a random charity shop, where no one else would have seen it, just him. I was like, he picked that out. And it's like, if you go and look for something, it might not be always what you're looking for. Like, I never anticipated getting this sort of thing from a charity shop, but that, again, like I've said in all of my videos, is one of the most exciting parts about charity shopping, is the amazing stuff which you can find, which you would never expect to find. It's, it's, really, it's really amazing, charity shops the different stuff that you can find like i found hats cards books records literally anything which you can think of i've seen it in a charity shop before and one day you'll just find that exact thing which you need and you'll get it for a really good price but it's just about like basically treasure hunting and genuinely when i was a little kid this is what i used to think it was just treasure hunting because you're just finding stuff for extremely cheap prices like all of these cards which a part of NBA history, genuinely, these cards are, like, the players that make up the NBA, and the history of the NBA, like, I don't know a lot of them, but here's some more NFL cards, well, there was one more, I'm not 100% sure what I brought next, 
we shall see. But like I was saying, it's the history of basketball on these cards, history of NFL on these cards, history of hockey on these cards. And that's something which I really do love. It's like the history of the sport I love and which I could get for such a cheap price. And even if they're not players, I necessarily know. To me, it's still so cool having this in my collection. And at some point, I would like to collect more basketball cards, but new, they're very expensive. But when you're looking at all the old jerseys and everything like that, it's really amazing. Like, genuinely, the amount of cards which I got from this was just a whole basket full of cards. So it was really amazing what you can find in these situations. There's Horace Grant. Uh, I didn't actually see him when I first looked through. Like, I love Grant. Like, he's one of the best players, obviously, on that famous Bulls team. And I just put him back into my pile of players which are really famous. I, I moved him in this situation because I didn't even realise that was him. I completely forgot he actually played for the Magic, I'll be honest with you. Uh, yeah, but like I said, if you do enjoy secondhand videos and seeing some of the treasures that I personally find looking through different secondhand products and stuff like that, subscribe to the channel because it's what I do on a daily basis, literally. I upload daily on this channel every single day, so it's it's literally just free content if you like secondhand stuff and seeing some amazing things which I've found throughout my time. So you've even got these like three player cards where they're on here. You even got Tony Kuko on there, who is an amazing player as well. Like there's some amazing players on those three player cards. I think Charles Oakley was on one of them as well. It's it's so good. Like All Star Weekend cards, really good cards. Like I love every card in this. And yeah, literally like I was saying, NBA history right here. The players that made up the league in the 90s. For me, it's a bit sad because. <laughs> The Celtics, this was probably the worst period in Celtics basketball for me, probably looking back at the history. I don't know what it was like for the people that actually watched it, but there's not many Celtics players which are very famous within this card collection. There are Celtics players, but none which are very, like, I'm not going to say not very good, but not very famous. Like, in the 90s was like the only era where the Celtics didn't win a championship pretty much. Which is crazy. Like, every other era, the 60s, 70s, 80s, and just not the 90s, the early 2000s. We didn't win in 2010, but we still had a lot of success. And that one really annoyed me. If you know basketball, you'll know Kevin Garnett is one of my favourite players of all time because he played for the Celtics, and someone had chopped the card up. Literally chopped the corner out of. Like, why? An MVP you chopped the corner out of. Here's some more NFL cards. Some more basketball cards again. Like I said, I've just got mass amounts of these. Just literally just hundreds and hundreds of these cards. And they're not worth anything. Genuinely. I couldn't sell them individually. They're worth absolutely nothing. But again, like I said, it's that's not the point to me. It's the point of having some amazing cards from NBA history that are from the 90s, which represent some of the best teams to ever play the game. Like... Genuinely, Jerry Stackhouse there, like, amazing cards. Rashid Wallace, amazing. Like, I I really love basketball and learning about history. Like, I'm not too clued upon history from the 90s, for example. I know a decent amount, but not probably as much as I should. And that is my bad. Like, I, I do need to catch up on it a bit, but when I think of the 90s, I think of MJ. Um, and just that Bulls team, maybe the Houston team as well, a bit of Orlando, but I don't know about a lot of the teams that didn't perform that well in the 90s. Like, for example, I don't know much about that Celtics team throughout the period in the 90s because of how they weren't very successful. Like, it, it, it was a shame, to be perfectly honest with you. And again, like I, I have videos come out every single day on some of the best purchases which you can make from charity shops, vintage shops, and anything of the sort, online shopping as well, buying secondhand, and to me, buying secondhand is one of the most important things that we need to consider as a society moving forward, like, it's not something massive, which we're doing, but we're just utilising the things that we've made, all these material products which have been made, we, we can utilise them instead of producing new ones, like, that's, that's one of the most important things and why I love charity shopping, vintage shopping, and secondhand shopping in general is 
you're getting something that is new to you, but is not harming the environment in a way of production. And that's something that which I do bang on about is literally just like assessing how much our impact on the world is. And it's something which I am genuinely really passionate about. Like I don't do everything which I should to help the world, but I do I do more than a lot of people do in terms of clothing, for example. Like I want brands to be sustainable. I want clothing to be sustainable where people can ask to be repaired clothes and stuff like that and they can like literally do with the clothes that they have and not have to buy clothes from brands that are mass producing them, harming the environment and using them for fast fashion, which I think is just completely wrong. And with something like basketball cards, it's hard, isn't it, as well, because you can't really reuse them because at the end of the day, it's different players every year, different teams, um, and they need to make money off that, and I do accept that. Uh, but at least in some ways these aren't harming the environment as some forms of production of clothing i know they're still not great for the environment but at the end of the day it's it's better i feel like people are more aware of the environmental situation and some people don't care about it some people do and that's everyone can do what they want another thing which i would say about these is look at the amazing kits uh the celtics kit to me has always been not that interesting but the jazz kits the detroit pistons kits there's so many amazing beautiful kits on this like just in this i think even the next one like the suns one that is beautiful like the old pistons ones like all of them are so amazing that hawks jersey i feel like basketball jerseys aren't what they used to be in my humble opinion genuinely i love vintage basketball look at that raptors one amazing the hornets as well it's it's so good and i feel like that's what the nba kind of lacks is some of the like they just try and remake the old stuff like there needs to be a bit more innovation in my opinion on the um uniform side of basketball there's a football card for some reason aston villa player shout out <laughs> um i wasn't sure whether i was gonna put that in but i was just like yeah leave it in left all the other random ones in but there's some tops cards, some different kind of cards as well. And literally, tell me in the comments if I've missed anyone specifically. I'm, I'm not 100% sure if I have. But the, look at that. All-star jerseys. Amazing. Like If you're a basketball fan, you'll love some of the kits in this. Genuinely, the 90s probably had some of the best jerseys of all time. Except for the Celtics, which were just terrible. Gary Payton, Dennis Rodman, Shaquille O'Neal... Now, this is the cards where it gets into being good. Clyde Drexler. I'm not going to announce every single one. Penny Hardaway. Like, oh, Scotty Pippen. Like, this is when it gets interesting. Like, these are the cards that everyone, every basketball fan will know. Genuinely, you'll know them. Like, I love some of these cards. Richard Dumas. Oh, some of these cards are beautiful. These are some of the most famous players in NBA history. And there's a reason why. Like, even Doc Rivers, as a player, has a card. Like Jerry Stackhouse. Some of the most amazing players. And some of them are from finals games as well. Where it's got some amazing players in the pictures. Which I just get so excited for. Like that is an amazing photo. That is beautiful of the Orlando Magic. Honestly amazing. Like Gerald Wilkins. Oh, there's so many good cards that I got from this. In all fairness the guy that gave them to the charity shop. Didn't give away every card. So I was quite happy about that. And we do have a Shaquille O'Neal, a Lakers one as well in great condition, and Allen Iverson, classic that is. John Stockton, like, oh, I don't like him. If you know why, you know why. But, like, Steve Kerr, we've got loads of Steve. Like, I used to love Steve when he was a player, watching his old games, one of the, like, one of the greatest bench players, and just players in general. Like, Del Curry, we've also got a lot of, like, Steph's dad. Shout out to him. We've got loads of him and Steve. Uh, just loads of them. I don't know why. BJ Armstrong. Class. I loved him. Like, playing for so many different teams as well. That Warriors jersey is so nice. A Rockets logo as well. Classic one. Uh, another one of that guy. Um, just so many beautiful cars. Tony on that one. Ah, oh, classic Shaq. Classic Shaq. Scotty Pippen. This is what I mean. There's so many amazing cards 
in this. Another Shaq. Uh, Charles Barkley. Uh, Muggsy. Tony. There's so many good cards. Like, some of them on here are so beautiful. Like, this is a college card as well. It's amazing. Like, oh, some, like, some of the cards on here are beautiful. That's all I can say. Literally, every time I see these cards, I'm stunned by how amazing some of them are. Muggsy, the smallest player in NBA history. Amazing player. Like, some more Steve, Richard, John. Just so many amazing cards. And as we draw to the end of the video, I hope you have enjoyed this one, genuinely. It took me a long time to record this video because of the amount of cards there were. But, literally, I, I do really appreciate it if you have made it this far. Some beautiful cards, and I hope... You really do appreciate it. And yeah, back to me. But right, that is the end of the video, guys. If you have enjoyed this one, uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel. It's been a long one, and I hope you enjoyed seeing my vintage basketball card collection. And yeah, that's the end of this one.